All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the golden question. All right, is 20 years, years, right? 20 years, is 20 years worth it um, in the military? You know, is it worth it to do 20 years in the military? Um, you know, it's a very good question and it could potentially set you up for the rest of your life if you play your cards right. So. Um, definitely want to go dive deep into this topic. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing I want to touch on is travel. You know, um, you know, a lot of people join the military for that reason alone is to travel the world. You know, go places they've never seen, do things, do things they've never done. So, um, you know, if you do and listen to the military and do over 20 years you're going to be traveling a lot i mean i've only been in for about three years right now um or a little over three years and i've been to korea texas south carolina virginia um yeah you know so i've been you know a couple places that i've never been like all those places i just listed i've never been there before so um, that's only within three years. So imagine, you know, 20 years, you're going to be going probably have a couple deployments, you know, overseas trips, you know, um, PCSing to different duty stations within the United States. So, um, you know, if you're someone who wants to travel a lot and just wants to constantly travel. Um, and then another thing too, let's say if you do go into, let's say Korea, um, you know, when you have four day weekends or, you know, when there's block leave, you can travel to other countries like the Philippines, Japan, um, you can go to Thailand, you know, there's a lot of traveling opportunities in the military. So, you know, if you're into traveling, I think, you know, doing 20 years in the military would be, you know, would follow along those guidelines. So, um, so that's another bonus. If you do 20 years, you can do a lot of traveling. All right. Now the next thing, you know, the second thing I want to touch on is deployments. Um, this is, you know, very important because this is, you know, could be life threatening, but, um, you know, deployments, you can get injured, you know, you can go to war that could impact you for the rest of your life. Kind of like similar to my dad, you know, he's at like, he has PTSD, um, he's getting over it, but you know, anytime he heard like a helicopter sound, like he would get, a, you know, it would just like causing a reaction within him. So, um, there's a lot of things that can happen down range. Um, not only just injury, but just like lifelong um uh just things that could impact you right uh so that's another thing to take notice of you know your mental health you know your physical health um and, you know it's not always as bad as people make it seem you know depending on your mos and where you go and how things are going in the moment um kind of like early 2000s you know afghanistan iraq was you know really bad um, but nowadays it's not as nearly as bad you know as it used to be but you know stuff still goes on people still get hurt um, and things still do happen so um, I'm not downplaying deployments at all but you know it's something to really take consider of because within 20 years you know there's actually some deployments that are not even a combat deployment you know so you could just get you know go to Kuwait or things like that so you know but it's something to take in consideration and um, yeah it's just something to think about all right now the third thing I want to talk about is your family um like i said you know with deployments you are gone you know nine to 12 months usually 12 months at a time um away from your family so you know in the military you are away from your family a lot like i was in korea you can actually bring your family to korea but some people didn't um and that's a year right there just away from your family that you don't get to see your kids you know go to school or be there with your wife and you know things like that so you know there's a lot of time away from your family like even for me, like I'm in Texas, most of my family's in Washington, so it's like I don't see them every day like I used to, so it could kind of play a role um, into that. But if you are, you know, married and have kids, they obviously come with you wherever you go, um, whether that's, you know, stateside or you can even bring them to, you know, overseas duty stations with you. So um, it's just more so for your deployments and trainings and fields and schools that you have to go to that you'll be away from your family. So, um that's that and you also another bonus i guess is a bonus that was kind of a negative thing but a bonus is you will be financially taken care of um and your family will always be good you know they'll get all the benefits um and i'll touch that on another topic but i think i just want to say that the financial security that you have you know 
you'll always have housing, you'll always have food, you know, you'll always be getting a paycheck. So financially your family will be set and I think that's a very positive thing if you do have a family. All right, now the fourth thing I want to touch on um, are the benefits. The benefits, the benefits, the benefits. Um, this right here is what makes it, um, you know, potentially worth it. I'll give you my final verdict um, after everything. But another pro thing is the benefits. And like I said, we just touched on family, but, um, you know, you don't only get the benefits, right? If you are active duty, your kids, your spouse, you know, people in your family, immediate family, well, not like your parents, but, you know, just like your family, you know, your kids and wife and whatnot, your dependents, I should say, um, you know, they get medical, you know, um, whether they need medication, there's a pharmacy, there's doctors, there's dentists, there's everything you can need. So a lot of that stuff could cause a lot of stress because, you know, dental is very expensive or just medical in general um, is very, very expensive. And then there's also like being BAH, which is a housing allowance for you to, you know, have housing for your family. So, you know, as a family in general, or just as you, if you're a single soldier, it still applies that you are taken care of in all aspects, right? Not just financially, but you know, your medical, your dental, your vision, your hearing, um, there's therapist, you know, there's physical therapy, behavioral health, you know, the resources are limitless um, when you're active duty that, you know, when you're a civilian, you kind of have to worry about and get insurance and yada, 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 and stuff like that. So. Um, the benefits are outstanding and then there's a GI Bill, you know, it just keeps going, right? The benefits is, you know, always going to be worth it. So um, if you do make that 20 year mark, um, you do get retirement and, you know, your dependents do get, you know, medical and dental for life, um, I believe. Um, I know for me, my dad was in for 20 years, so I got medical, dental, you know, I had a military ID card just like him. So. Um, you know, it definitely pays off, um, especially if you do 20 years and, you know, your kids will get that even when you're out the military. So um, that's just something to think about um, that I think is very, very important. All right. Now, the last thing I want to touch on, um, the fifth and final thing I want to touch on is stress. If you can handle the stress that comes with the military, all right, just time away from your family or being at your unit or you know things that go on within the army and the military not just the army probably other branches too but i'm in the army so you know the stress that you deal with day-to-day -day basis uh, physical stress mental stress um you know things like that it can take a toll on you right um, a lot of people they get on medication seek you know behavioral help um speak to therapists even on your body physical stress not just like stress in general but you know physical stress on your knees your back you know, always being on the go, alert and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely a stressful job depending on what you do um, and your unit. I think it more really depends on your unit um, because if you have a good leadership and a good unit, then I think everything else will kind of be smooth. But even if you have a good unit, it's still stressful, you know. So um, like I said, you know, if you can do that for 20 years and you can hang in there and make it, then I would say doing 20 years in the military is worth it. Um, just because it's like everything you get, right? And also retirement, um, not only do you keep your benefits like as if you were active, but you get retirement pay. You know, you'll be able, probably will have disability pay for you for 20 years. So you're set financially um, when you get out with retirement and stuff like that, and you could still work. So, I mean, if you get in at a young age, even if you're a little bit older, you know, 20, 22, 24, even 26, I mean, but if you join in when you're 18, you could retire, retire, right, technically at 38, 39. So um, I could retire probably like 40 or, yeah, I was like 19. I was probably like, yeah, I was about 19. So probably 39 when I joined, um, or 19 when I joined, but 39, I could retire technically. Um, but like I said, if you can handle the stress, um, and you can stick through it, I think 20 years is a no-brainer. Like, if you can do it, you should do it. Um, and it actually goes by faster than you think. Um, for me, the military is within the blink of an eye. You're in a du different duty station. I think it's a constant change of environment that allows your, you know, time in the military to go by so fast. Um, you know, the deployments, you know, the change of duty station, the schooling, the trainings, the fields. Um, it really flies by and you know 
after your first contract you re-enlist you know you're about six seven years in after your second re-enlistment you do it one more time you're about halfway there so i think it's like once you get to that 10 year mark um and you're kind of in it for you know a little bit it's just kind of like making that final stretch that push people to reach that 20 year mark so um final verdict is it worth it yes um if you can make it um then definitely do it but if you don't see something you know if you don't see you doing it for 20 years like myself um then that's perfectly fine because you are set literally when you get out to go to school or you know with the resources that you have and get a contracting job there's just so many different you know ways to play it and ways to different routes to take so um that's what i think um about you know doing 20 years in the military and um especially if you have a family you know it gets better right so um like i said that's the end of the video i hope i covered a lot of different aspects for you to kind of get insight um also one more thing if you're just new you know you're thinking about joining the military um i would say just do one contract and see how it goes even if you plan on doing 20 years don't just take like an eight-year contract because you really don't know what you're getting yourself into until you're into it so um with that being said you know um if you like this video hit that like button it would mean a lot to me it helps me out um drop any comments questions concerns any video ideas any questions or um video topics you want to see you know let me know I'm definitely I uh, want to create more military content just to help everyone out that I can and uh, if you made it this far you know what it is by now if you've been watching subscribe don't know why I hit the hit the thumbs up but hit that subscribe button uh, let, I want to hit a thousand uh, subscribers soon within the next three four months that would be dope and yeah without further ado thank you guys for watching and peace